Hi, I'm Kathy Plasney. I'm the food editor here at the News Journal, and we're in our kitchen today to begin a new series called Make It Right. And this is my friend Ramona Colby. She's from Ormond Beach, and she's going to show a correct way to, to carve a pineapple. Actually, she does it a couple of different ways, if I remember right. When you're in the store and you're just facing a heap of these pineapples, okay. how do you determine which one is the right one? Okay, uh, this one is perfect. Mm -hmm. It's firm, and the color is almost like half green and half yellow brownish color, mm -hmm. which is gold, mm -hmm. and, and the smell. The smell is very smell. important. Yes, right? the smell is very important. Should smell sweet? Correct. Okay. Right now I have to peel the pineapple by peel it all the way down. And you're not really going that deep. No, not yet. And you're using a huge chef's knife. Yeah, this is and, and you're sort of a petite person. Do you like the huge knife? Uh, a sharp knife is good because mm -hmm. you can use it in, in a, if you want to chop something really mm -hmm. fine mm -hmm. because of the way you... Mm -hmm. The walking? Yeah, the walking. So you use it for everything? Yeah, almost for everything. Okay, then I have to do this to get all the, the skin off. Now, a lot of people would go so deep that they would just take all the eyes off while they're doing that, but you don't. No, yeah. you leave the eyes all off like that. I mean, leave yeah. it off. And then the, the next part is to uh, take the eye out by leaving this like this, uh, diagonal, mm -hmm. and that will give you a nice uh, pattern later on. Okay, now Ramana, you've switched knives, you're using a much thinner knife. Yes, it's easy to maneuver. Mm -hmm. When you cut the pineapple your way, mm -hmm. you take the, the eyes off in sort of diagonal ridges. Right. And um, explain the difference between something like this and when a supermarket, you know, cuts a pineapple down for a consumer. Okay. Uh, this is the method that you save a lot of pineapple. So the supermarket's kind of machine it, right? Yes. And by the time you have your pineapple, it's like almost like it's Where? almost inside <laughs> you have, but very few pineapple meat left. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I have to cut this bottom part like this. And now you can see the core. Yeah, and then cut the handle. All right, done with that. The crown. All right. Let's put it there. And you could do something with this, right? Yes. <laughs> Can plant that. Yeah. And then cut this in half. And another cut. This is one way you can cut that uh, when you are serving in the party. Mm -hmm. Like this. Okay. And serve. The different style. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could just slice it now. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Good. It looks like a flower. Pineapple upside down cake. Do you make that sometimes? Well, I have the recipe, which is from from uh, from Grandma, mm -hmm. and she used fresh pineapple. Mm -hmm. Like this. Mm. Yeah. Well, Romani, you certainly cut enough pineapple for us today, I think. It's a healthy thing. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I know we'll all, I'll enjoy it, too. Oh, yeah. And uh, thank you for coming from Mormon to, to show us how to do this. We appreciate it. You're very it. welcome. <laughs>